Kendra. Today I'm here to talk to you about springtime skincare. I did a video on my morning skincare routine a couple months ago. Not everything has changed, but some things have changed. So I wanted to kind of give you an update on my skin, how it's changing, that sort of thing. And welcome to my bedroom. I wanted to switch up the setting a little bit for you guys, so I hope you like it over here. What else did I want to kind of brief you on? Well, my skin type, for those of you guys who don't know, is dry and sensitive. And the fun thing is that now I get to deal with treating my fine lines and breakouts, which is so fun. Nobody tells you that. You just think your breakouts go away as you get older. Nope, they stick around and you also get lovely fine lines. So I have products now that are more geared towards anti-aging and that sort of thing. Um, also I have some things for how I deal with my breakouts. But a few other tips besides my skincare products, make sure you guys are drinking a ton of water. I think um, staying hydrated is honestly one of the best things you can do for your skin, especially to keeping it clear and hydrated. Um, also, exercising is really good for your skin. If I haven't been working out for some time, like this past week, I was sick for the entire week. I had this cold that would not go away, so I wasn't really working out and my skin you could tell like my skin just looks so much better when I'm working out consistently if I'm getting a lot of cardio in I feel like you're just kind of you know sweating out all the gunk so water working out and definitely get sleep so and then you got to use some skincare products and I'm a skincare junkie so you will see I have a lot of skincare to show you I typically have like two to three serums and moisturizers at my sink all the time because I like to switch up my products depending on what my skin needs, I listen to my skin, and if it's extra red, I'll use something that's going to calm it down. If it's extra dry, I'll use something that's really intensely hydrating. So here is the tray that I keep on our, in between our sinks. I got this at HomeGoods, and it works so great. They have a ton of them there, too. They always have these. And I have Andrew's stuff on one side and my stuff on the other side. These are just products that I use that I need to grab quickly, that I use... Um, the most often and then I keep like masks and my Clarisonic and extra stuff in the drawer just beneath it So let's get started. So I'm going to start with cleanser Obviously if it's at night you want to take off your makeup. I have a DIY oil cleanse I'll list it down below for you guys, but um in this video I did my morning skincare routine So we're gonna start with cleanser. This is the Cebu Sea Buckthorn balancing facial cleanser I have had this for such a long, this exact one, but I have been using this product for so, so long. If anybody asks for a cleanser recommendation, this is what I tell them. It's great for all skin types. It gives you a little bit of hydration, but it just cleans your skin so deeply. It's so just refreshing to use in the morning. It has a little bit of exfoliation to it. And it's all natural. So it says on the back that it removes dirt and impurities and maintains a healthy balance to your skin. Also, when my skin is breaking out, this is the cleanser that I always like to use because I, I honestly swear that it keeps my skin a lot more clear than when I'm not using it. So definitely recommend this. Moving on to toners. I love using toners on my skin. I have three because, again, I like to use them for different reasons. So the first one is by Paula's Choice. This is the Resist Advanced Replenishing Toner. I like their Resist line because it's great for anti-aging, it's really hydrating, but it's also good for sensitive skin. So if you guys have skin like mine, I would definitely recommend this line. So this is a supercharged toner that smooths wrinkles, it builds collagen for firmer skin, and it also calms down your redness. So especially like during that time of the month, I get really red around my nose and my chin. So this is a really good product to just really soothe and calm your skin down. So you can use this day and night, but I especially like it at nighttime because of how hydrating it is. And then all of Paula's Choice products, they're fragrance free, they're non-irritated, they have no added dyes and no animal testing. So they're great for sensitive skin. The next one I have is by Andalou Naturals. This is the Clementine and C Illuminating Toner, and this is from their Brightening line. So this one I would recommend to you guys if you have more oily to combination skin. It's extremely refreshing and it smells like Sprite. I don't know why I think it smells like Sprite. Oh, it's so nice. So this has vitamin C which helps target hyperpigmentation and UV damage. It improves your skin tone and texture and then it has aloe vera in here to hydrate and it just adds a lot of luminosity and helps circulation for your skin. So if you guys are in the sun a lot, if you have age spots, sun damage, this is a good thing to add into your skincare routine. It just feels so, so nice. And the last one I have is by SK2. This one is a little bit more of like a luxury toner to me. This is the Facial Treatment Essence. And this one is really good at kickstarting your cell production. So as you age, your skin cells produce at a slower rate, 
which creates your wrinkles, which is so fun. So you want to get some products that help to sp speed that up so you're producing cells quicker. So this one does that. Let me pull up on Sephora's website so I can actually read it to you. Okay, so the main ingredient in this is called Patera. So it's full of vitamins, amino acids, minerals, and organic acids. It'll help to improve your skin texture and clarity and give you a beautiful, balanced, glowing complexion. It's free of sulfites, synthetic fragrances, and GMOs. So this one, I just like to use like twice a week because it is a little bit on the pricey side. So I use it just every now and then and it just feels so refreshing and it just really, I feel like it does a really good job at improving the tone of my skin. So if you guys have uneven skin tone, if you have, you know, kind of texture on your skin, then this would be really awesome for you. So after I go in with a toner, I always follow up with a serum. Uh, toners just help to maximize all the benefits of the products that you apply after. So these are the two that I've been using. One is from Andaly Naturals, and this one is from Made From Earth. So this one is the Rose Hip and Hibiscus Face Serum. So this one has amazing ingredients in here. Aloe vera is the first ingredient, hibiscus flower, rose hip seed oil. Rose hip's really good for evening out your skin tone and just kind of helping with dark spots. Also vitamin E, vitamin B, A, C, just a ton of really great natural ingredients. I got this one because it's great for giving you a lot of antioxidants in the skin and antioxidants help prevent free radical damage. Also it says it'll calm the skin down and serve as an anti-inflammatory. And yeah, it just has a lot of vitamins and antioxidants in here. So this one feels so nice and lightweight on the skin. Both of these are pretty lightweight. This one is the Turmeric and Sea Enlighten Serum, and this one is from their Brightening line again. This has turmeric in here, so turmeric is an ingredient that helps to lighten up your complexion. I did a turmeric mask a while ago. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. So it gives you just that brightness and that radiance and kind of a glow to your skin. So if my skin is looking just dull and especially like after you're sick or after you've been in the sun a lot and your skin just looks like lackluster you need something to really help bring that luminosity back again this is a product that I've been using for a very long time and it's just one of those that I always always go back to okay moving on to moisturizers so I have two that I've been using and I've been using these during the day and also at night and when I use it during the day I just follow up with a sunscreen so the first one is by Paula's Choice It's from the same line as that toner it's from the resist line and it's called the Intensive Repair Cream for dry to very dry skin. And it also has retinol in here. So it intensely hydrates dry skin, repairs multiple signs of aging, and creates a smooth, even toned skin. This feels like butter on the skin. It feels so just rich and soothing. I took this with me. Andrew and I went to Palm Springs this past weekend. And I wore this day and night because especially when you're in your summer where it's really hot, you've got to add a ton of moisture to your skin because that sun will just dry you out. So again, if you're looking for a moisturizer that's going to really help with fine lines, treating your wrinkles, but still be good for sensitive skin, this one, oh, love, love, love it. And then the other one I have is from Juice Beauty. It's the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. And this is in a pot like this. I'm almost out of this. This one smells so good. So this one I would recommend to you guys if you have oily or combination skin because it's still really hydrating. It's an anti-wrinkle moisturizer, but it feels very light on your skin. And for my sunscreen, this is what I've been using, and I really like this a lot. I've had this for a while, and I just haven't used it. It's by Kula, and it's the SPF 30 Bare Republic Natural Mineral Face Sunscreen. And it has broad-spectrum SPF 30. It's a chemical-free sunscreen water resistant for 40 minutes, cruelty free, and it also has zinc in here. So you want a sunscreen that has zinc. It feels so light on your skin. Uh, I just look forward to using this, it's so nice. Also on the back it says no chemical actives, no synthetic fragrances, and no parabens. So this is a really good alternative for a you know more natural sunscreen and it just feels super super lightweight on your skin. And then last I go in with a couple products if I want to treat certain areas. So this is from Paula's Choice. It's the Resist Line for Me Line Minimizer and it diminishes crow's feet and frown lines. I like this because sometimes you don't want to apply like a wrinkle treatment to your entire face. You just want to apply to certain areas. You just pump out a little bit on the back and it has a super cool spout. It feels like a gel, kind of like a water, watery gel. Feels so lightweight and I apply it underneath my eyes and 
mostly my forehead. It's just a targeted product that really helps to focus on your fine lines. So love that, especially at night. Oh, I also have a coupon code for you guys. I was talking to Paula's Choice. I wanted to see if I get a coupon for you guys. So they offer 20% off your entire order with free shipping. So I will put the code right here along with it down below. And they offered to give one of you guys a free skin consultation along with skincare products worth $150. So if you guys want to win that, which you should because that is so awesome, then I will put the rules down below as well. And then this is the eye cream that I've been using for a while now. It's the Skin Fix Brightening Eye Cream. If you guys are wondering about the cleanser that I, was talk I talked about in the past favorites, I keep that in the shower and I still love it. So this is for dark circles and just hydration. So I put it underneath my eyes day and night and especially like right in the inner parts of my eyes, I've noticed that they've gone a lot less dark. Since my eyes are pretty deep set, they get a little bit dark right in this area. So I find that I don't really need as much concealer anymore. And it's just, it's been really good. A lot of eye creams, I feel like you don't necessarily notice that much of a difference, but that I do notice when I don't use it. Ooh, I'm getting out of breath. The last product I wanted to talk about is this. I've mentioned this so many times, but I have to talk about it again because it's what I use when I get breakouts. It's by the company Just Natural. It's the Manuka Acne Treatment. It has so many amazing oils in this. It's a blend of oils. It is an antibacterial product, so you apply it to your breakouts and it really helps to kill any bacteria but also soothes the area too. Sometimes when you're using uh, products that are for pimples, it'll just dry everything out so much to where your skin is like dry and flaky and you might break out more. So I like this because it still hydrates my skin, but at the same time, it's really treating my breakouts. This is amazing. I get this off of Amazon. I just love it. So that's everything for my skincare. I hope you guys all enjoyed this, found it helpful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. So thank you all for spending the time with me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Oh God, it scared me. <laughs> Can you say hi to everybody? We haven't been in a video in so long. Hey, Carla. Sheep! <laughs> Sheep, you're so sweet right now. Oh my god, look at Andrew. Carrots and lentils in it. This big thing of Brussels sprouts from Costco. Tomatoes, what is this? I got this last time and they were really good. The butternut squash, I think I mixed it with the Brussels sprouts and some butter and balsamic vinegar, it was super good.